local churches are examining the equity bill that would allow same-sex marriage and looking for some outs. KITV Force Catherine Cruz has the possible fallout from the controversial special session that's less than a week away. Catherine. Well, St. Andrews, Kauai Hao, a Central Union, uh, St. Peter's, and Calvary by the Sea, just a few churches who rely on Japanese weddings to supplement their church offerings. Now, church leaders are closely watching the language in the bill to see how it may get amended, and they're prepared to do some soul searching. Played out at churches around the state. The Japanese wedding business is a lucrative one, and some congregations have embraced it as a way to help church bottom lines. But they might have to choose between dollar values and religious values under the equity bill crafted by Judiciary Chairman Clayton He. We have an opportunity to um, try to strike a reasonable balance between the interests of the religious community and the interests of uh, uh, those who uh, are support same gender marriage. The Accommodations Act outlaws discrimination. If you are making, are doing weddings for a profit, uh, the Senate proposal uh, uh, holds you ac accountable to the present system that has been in since 2006 of the public accommodations law. Every month, we're told there are about 50 weddings conducted here at Central Union Church. Most are destination weddings. Time to panic? Well, the head pastor said it's more like wait and see. The United Church of Christ churches are all over the place with regard to this issue anyway, nationally as well as here, that there's some who are very much opposed to same-sex marriage, and then there are others that are very open to it. But, but each church has to make that decision. Hirono says once the church committee makes a recommendation, it will take it to its members. But Hirono says that will only happen once lawmakers decide what to do in next week's special session. He noted that language in the original bill that sent the same-sex issues to the voters in 1998 could put a damper on those hoping to get the issue back on the ballot. The bill itself said very explicitly that any further changes would be made by the elected representatives. Now that uh, very first hearing on the Senate equity bill is set for Monday at 10.30 a.m. in the state capitol. Back to you.